Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and another Cards of the Universe and Everything deck review. Okay, this is a brand new card. It's the African Pygmy Mouse and we have built a cool lead deck around this beautiful little card. It is a limited legendary, it's brand new so it may be difficult to get uh, or if not, check out those packs in the store. Anyhow, let's have a look at the deck that we've put together. And as I said, this is the African Pygmy Mouse deck. Okay, there we go. So the first card, that card that I mentioned, uh, on the draw, your cards with Pygmy in the name, wherever they are, gain plus 15 permanently, which is pretty cool. And if your deck has exactly four cards with Pygmy in the name, then give them an additional plus 15 permanently. So I went with the option of four Pygmy cards, so we get that plus 30 permanently. So I've got four Pygmy cards, obviously this is the first one and there will be three more as we move along through this deck. Next one out is another super cool card, it's the Pygmy Three Toad Sloth, there we go. Uh, and this is a start card, I mean it does something on the play and the return but I do like to hold this one as long as we can. Two for 21, another limited legendary, quite difficult to get as well. But on the start, if your deck is three or more life on land cards, which we do, the whole deck is life on lands, your life on land cards in hand game plus three until played, which is pretty handy. And then on the play, if played between any two life on land cards, this card gains plus 33, so that's going to buff it up a little bit more. And on the return, your life on land cards, wherever they are, gain plus three for three turns. So pretty useful card, that one. That's the Pygmy Three Toes Sloth, and he is also going to get that buff from the African Pygmy Mouse. Okay, next one is the Long-Tailed Macau. Is it how you say it? The Long-Tailed Macau. Macau? I think it's Macau. Anyhow, there he is, three for 17, limited rare card. Cute little monkey, this one. He's a primate. On the draw, your rare primate cards, wherever they are, gain plus 15 permanently. So I put in a few rare primates, which we'll have a look at in a minute, to kind of work nicely with those pygmy cards. So that's that little cheeky monkey, the lion-tailed Macaya. And then the next one, another pygmy card, the pygmy possum, another cool card, one for 10, so it's a tiny card, this one. Uh, only a limited, pretty easy to get on the draw. Your cards in hand gain plus five power this turn. So dead useful, but again, he's gonna get that super buff from the African pygmy mouse. And then the next one, this is the last pygmy card in this deck. Uh, it is the Pygmy Marmoose. What a cool, cheeky fellow this guy is. Uh, a rare limited, 5 for 39. On the play, if your deck has three or fewer Primate cards, your Primate cards, wherever they are, gain plus 15 permanently. So we have got exactly three. So there we go. So our Primate cards and our Pygmy cards working really nicely together there. So they're all going to get some permanent buffs from the African Pygmy Mouse and the primate cards will get a buff, or a permanent buff, I should say, from this Marmust. So pretty cool, I'm looking forward to seeing how these do. And then obviously I've put in a couple more primates, so here we go, Gelada, nice monkey that one, a little bit weird looking, uh, and rare, limited, 6 for 54, on the draw, all arts and culture and history cards in both players' hands burn 16 until played. Pretty useful, I think we can do a little bit of damage to our opponent, and we have zero arts and culture and zero history cards in this deck. So Galada gonna fit in nicely with this deck. And then another primate card, we have gone with this fella. It's the Lac, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, the Lac Alatora Bamboo Lemar, or Le Lima, I should say Lemar. <laughs> Wasn't Lemar a famous singer? Anyhow, the Lac Alatora Bamboo Lemar. Lima, <laughs> whatever it is. Uh, anyhow, on the draw, if you've played this fella, the Lac Alatura Bamboo, this game, this card loses minus 30 permanently. So the first time you play him, you're going to get that full score, and then you are going to get the buffs from that other card that we mentioned earlier, um, but you will lose 30 power permanently after you've played him one time. And then I filled this deck up with some really awesome, there's so many good uh, Life on Land cards, some tiny cheat cards, uh, and also I've gone with a few going underground cards because there is an arena boost this week, as you know, for going underground. So this guy works absolutely awesome. Six for 43, the Dwarf Hot Hot. Uh, if played between two life on land cards, your life on land cards in hand 
gain 24 until play. So not only the three that you're playing, but also the two in your hand get that 24. Absolutely awesome card, very powerful, and definitely, definitely worth trying to get the Dwarf Hot It works in a lot of decks, actually. And then because it's a tiny, I've gone with Cool Tar. This one buffs up nicely, one for zero. On the return, this, game, uh, this card gains plus 60 power and costs plus one permanently. It is low energy this week, so I'm a little bit worried about the energy cost with this deck. But anyhow, we're going to see how we get on. But Cool Tar, one for zero, just a limited epic. And then Lemons, I like this one. I wanted a few going underground cards, and this one is a lot of fun to play. A limited legendary, seven for 54. On the draw, a random opponent's card, wherever it is, loses minus 100 power for five turns. So we can really annoy our opponent with that Lemmings card. I'm not sure if it will help us win the game, but it's certainly going to disrupt our opponent for sure. Another light or going underground card, I should say, is the European Hamster. Great card, this one. One for eight. Just a rare limited uh, on the play, the card opposite this loses minus 22 this turn, which is good. And your cards adjacent to this game plus 11 this turn. So if you can, play him in the middle. Not absolutely critical because you're only going to lose 11 if you play him on the left or right. Uh, but try and play him in the middle and you'll get those extra points. And then I've gone with probably the start of the going underground deck. Uh, Pika, great card this one. Limited legendary should all know this one really on the play your opponent's cards in hand lose minus seven power permanently and this card gains plus 35 power permanently so absolutely awesome get him around as often as you can that's a little bigger beautiful one some nice cute cards in this deck and then to help with those going underground cards we're going underground anybody know who sang that song awesome song a royal chinchilla uh, on the play, if your deck contains only life on land cards, your cards, wherever they are, gain plus 11 this round. That's pretty useful. And on the draw, if your deck contains only life on land cards, your cards, wherever they are, cost minus one this round. Four for 25. Like I said, I am a little bit worried about the energy cost, but we will see how we get on. But Royal Chinchilla is going to help a little bit with those costs. And then I put in a couple of uh, random life on land cards. Like I said, I wanted to keep it all life on land. So I've gone with one of my favourite cards, actually, Hippocampus. Don't play it as often as I should, but 3 for 0, limited epic, definitely worth getting this card. On the play, your Life on Land and Oceans and Sea cards in hand, gain plus 32 this turn. So basically, you are going to get 96 points for 3. Not bad, Hippocampus. Good card. And then, a bit of a wild card, this one. I've gone with Roses. I do like this card. I don't get a chance to play it very often, which is why I've put it in. But if you play it in the middle, uh, and this is on the return. So if played between two cards, increase their energy cost by two permanently, which is absolutely awful. However, give this card 75 power permanently. So very quickly, if you get that around a couple of times towards the end of the game, that is a super, super powerful card. Absolutely awesome. That's a Plant Life card, as is the next card. I've gone with another Plant Life card. It's Litops. Uh, on the play, if you're winning the round, your opponent's cards in hand lose minus 15 this turn, which is good. And if you're losing the round, your opponent's card lose even more because they lose 25 this turn. So definitely useful. We'll do a little bit of damage to our opponent. So good stuff, that one. I do like it. And then the last two cards in this awesome deck. I love in this deck, actually. The Fennec Fox, another going underground card. We're going underground. Return, uh, you're going underground cards, wherever they are, cost minus two until play. So he's definitely, definitely going to help with our energy consumption. Cool little fox he is. A for 64, limited epic card. Pretty good. I like that one. And then the final one is an ultra fusion, but I think we can just about afford to play this one. It is Stampede. Ultra fusion, like I said, on the play, your life on land cards, wherever they are, gain plus 25 power and you lose minus two energy this round. So hopefully we can afford to play Stampede, but he certainly gives us a lot more power. But look at those death stats there. Average power, 36.8. Uh, average energy, 4.6. Fairly low. And uh, power divided by energy, 8.1. So it's not the highest deck, but I'm hoping that African Pygmy Mouse and those Primate cards are gonna get super, super powerful. Anyhow, there's the deck code GNXMBU if you wanna copy this deck. Uh, and let's go and take this into the league and see, oh, was too slow there. I'll try to get that game going and see how we do. I think we are rank one. Yeah, we're rank one dragon. Okay, let's go. 
make sure we got the right deck apple can pick me mouse okay let's see who we can find good luck you little cuties we are playing para chris oh i wonder if you actually are para chris let's go dad of the goat versus para chris i like your deck holder that is awesome <clears throat> excuse me okay here we go oh going underground arenas first i'm not sure if that's good or not probably not to be honest but let's see how we can do we're going to get that massive arena buff on all these cars already look how powerful that fox is two 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 not bad straight out the box and the boost there from the european hamster nice what's he playing enemy yeah interesting deck i like your deck para chris hello by the way so two four four against two three five we've got a little bit of a lead uh what can we do here we want to try and get around that african pygmy uh to get that pygmy boost as quickly as we can uh, and a lot of these cars again you want to circulate as quickly as you can like pika let's get him out uh royal chinchilla is always a good one he's got the boost as well two four seven so far get harder um let's go with that one 300 that's nice come on para chris push that button oh what's going on here oh he's thrown the round i think he's probably realized we've got a deck full of life on lands and it is the going underground arena so probably not a bad tactic there chris you're going to save yourself some energy um but you will be one nil down for sure so we are probably going to win this, so let's just get round the cards. Uh, this one is into all play, so that's quite useful. Um, let's think lemons, permanent card for, yeah, let's get that lemons round again. That was on the draw. I guess this one's on the draw. Three, six, four, massive score. Oh, you're playing some cards this time. Let's go with that one instead. Three, oh, five. Ooh, what's he playing at? The tram, nice. He's going to, don't we get, yeah, we lose, he gets 62 and we're going to lose 50. Nice, nice little tactic there, Para Chris. If you look at those banks, he's got plus 62 and we are on minus 52 going into the first turn of round two. That was a nice play. So let's see what we can do. There's that stampede card. Let's get, get round. Um, Hippocampus and Gelada, 3-2-8. It's not a bad score. Ooh, takes a little bit of a hit. Oh, that's a nice buff there from your library. Very good. So he's got a bit of a lead here. 394 against our 308. So 86 in the lead. And our two cards are burning. We could do with getting them round, I guess. So this deck, I kind of put it together because I'm hoping all these permanent buffs towards the end of the game, some of these cards are going to get super, super powerful. They're already looking quite good. Look at that, 138, let's get that one round. That's the one we want to circulate. 240, he's got some boost coming in here. Ooh, we've made up a little bit of ground, but we're still gonna be 60 behind. Let's see if we can get this. I'm not sure if we're gonna be strong enough. Not now, but towards the end of the game, we should be all right. I'm liking the look of Coulter and Roses to circulate. And that European hat. So like I said, I don't mind playing him on the end. You only lose 11 points. Um, sometimes it's worth it to keep the rotation in the right order. Good score though, Para Chris. 350 against R143. But we are just trying to boost our cars at the moment. I knew we were going to lose that round. And keeping them in the right order. We've got that Pygmy three-toed sloth as well in our hand. So let's hold him as long as we can. Let's see how powerful he can get. He gets that extra three per turn and he also gets the boost from that pygmy boost the permanent one uh pika two three two and fennec fox two nine nine not a bad score Ooh, this is a good deck you've got here paracus i'm liking it i am liking it energy we got 39 he's got 35 so pretty even on the energy as well i thought we were going to struggle a little bit but that's going to help that fox has just taken to off 46 we've got now that's good but we are 66 behind um i don't like the look of this deck if we are chasing the lead let's just go with what we can do i guess 175 and that big boost 247 no oh, charlie chaplin or the tramp and we're gonna lose that power again that's that combo he did last time that means we're going to be a hundred behind 
130 behind, 62 and 72 in the bank he's got. Don't think we can catch him. Let's just get, I guess, Snappied maybe. Oh, we're burning lemons. Let's do that, 379. Oh, for a second there. Yes, we did. I thought we were going to do it. We just squeezed through that one. Oh, sorry, Para Chris. Six. That was absolutely lucky. I thought we had a little bit of a chance. I went big. I forgot about his library card, though. That was closer than I would have liked. So, 2 1. Okay, now we should be in a good position. Still got 41 energy. That's okay. He's got 28. So he could be running into energy problems soon. Let's have a look. Um, oh, let's think about this. Pygmy, yeah, and Galada. I'm trying to make sure I've got two good cars at the start here, in case we go into round five. Um, 308, that would do. Didn't really want to do that, but I thought it would, I wanted to keep these cars just in case. And it's probably a good move. Keeping on his energy, he's down to 11, he's got 11, so he'll have 22, we've got 28 and 7, so we've got 35, so we're not too bad. What's that Rose's card worth? 1, 3, 2, we are 110 behind. I think I'm going to keep these big cards and just get these out of the way. I'm kind of throwing this round, although, oh, now we've got a dilemma. I was going to throw that round, but we've got an opportunity to win it here. What have we got in our hand? We've got Roses is a big card. Quartar is looking good. Pika there. Oh, do we go with this? One, two, three. Let's kind of go with it. Three, eight, nine. Oh, are we going to be okay? Are we? No. No. Oh, what a hit at the end there. Oh, four, oh, four, three, one. I think we've done it. I think we've done, no, three points. Oh, well played, Para Chris. Okay, that gets us back for the last round. That was very close. Okay, I do like your deck, Chris. I haven't quite worked out what it is exactly yet, but it's a cool deck. Okay, so it's 2-2. This is exciting. We should have some really big cards now. We've got 23 against 14 energy. So we're both about similar. Uh, yeah, let's get our energy costs down. And that boost from the dwarf, what a cool card. 313. Oh, now we could be in the commanding position. We got six plus seven, he's got two plus seven. Or oh, is it minimum of ten energy per turn? I think it is. I can never remember. So let's have a look. He's got nine. Does that go up to ten? Uh, okay, what do we do here, guys? I think the long tailed maybe more chinchilla is probably a waste but we haven't got the highest scoring card 200 oh oh he's saving his power for the big finish oh i'm a little bit worried here we need a couple of big cards to come around 259 in the lead oh it's not the highest score what are they going to buff up to those pygmy cards should be quite good look at that that is okay okay pygmies Oh, Stampy gives us the boost now. Oh, can we afford? We can't afford to play both pygmies. Maybe you're at 319. Let's see. 336. Good lemon. 291. No, Stampy. 336. It's got to be that one. Plus the 259. Oh, <laughs> this is so close. 552. We have just squeezed through by about 30 points. Good game, Para Chris. Unlucky there at the end. I think the energy got both of us. We were out and you were out. But anyhow, that is my African Pygmy Mouse deck. I do like it. I think the synergy there between the uh, the mouses or the Pygmies, I should say, and the primates is pretty good. So dead useful. I think it will be better in a higher energy week. You can switch out a couple of those cards. But anyhow, hope you like it. Don't forget that deck code GNXMBU. And we will be back very soon. Don't forget, do give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe because uh, we've got loads more cool videos coming up over the next few days. Anyhow, enjoy Q. Take care, everybody. And we will see you soon. Bye.